What's up, y'all? King Los here, my nigga. Oh, in the middle. Chilling, y'all. Then to the stuff, I want to make a video real quick. I'm gonna make three more tonight. Do this next thing I want to talk about. Yeah, just fresh on my mind. I'm pretty sure y'all seen where Rihanna had put that uh that video. That video Rihanna just put out, that picture Rihanna put out for Fenty where she painted that uh, mural and they they like printed out multiple of them and she put fuck Trump and people are mad at her. Like bro, this is my thing. It's like when you're a white celebrity. People understand that you're a celebrity, but you're still a white person. So if you if you have values that white people have, white that like if you have values that white people have, no one looks at you crazy. If you're Hispanic and you have Hispanic pride, but you're a celebrity, like say you're a big crossover celebrity, like a like a um, what's that girl's name, bro? I can't think of her fucking name right now. The chick that made that song with young with a uh, young thug. Uh, she came from. She came out that group with five girls in it. Uh, tell me what's her name, bro. I think she dating that dude. Uh, Sean, the girl that's dating Sean Mendez. You know what I'm talking about? I can't think of her. Camila Cabello, bro. Camila Cabello is Hispanic, right? But she's a crossover artist. Camila Be Cabello has songs that are mainly Hispanic. The songs, like the, the language of the song is Hispanic. The vibe is Hispanic. Nobody calls Camila Cabello Hispanic, like racist or, 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 or crazy or mean or, or all this, or all this, or all this shit or people don't get upset, criticize, like, you know what I'm saying? She's Hispanic. All right, Rihanna is black, bro. If a motherfucker comes out, like Donald Trump, and clearly lets it be known that they don't give a fuck about black people. You know what I'm saying? His supporters don't give a fuck about black people. They they hope all, they they want to go back in the 50s and 60s so we can die. So that's pretty much uh, pretty much telling Rihanna, oh, we love you because you're a pretty nigger that can sing and you sing us good songs. But all you other motherfucking uh, black people that we don't see value in, even though we're white and ugly and pasty, I'm sure nobody sees value in us besides time to make a horror, a contrary movie, and we need a, a look-alike demon or some shit like that. Um, you know, we don't give a fuck about them, which you don't have to, but we don't care. We, we want, we actually do care, and we want to, like, kill them. You know what I'm saying? Murder them. I know that kind of sound of women are saying. They say they don't give a fuck. We don't care. How can you not care about somebody so much you want to kill and murder them? That's so stupid. Obviously, there's some form of kill there. But obviously, you know, they don't, they want to kill and murder our chip, kill and murder us off. Put us back in the worst communities. Take us out of take us out of our, these nice cars, these nice homes. Get us out of these jobs and positions. Get rid of the front of action where no matter how good our credentials are, no matter how hard we work, we, we don't have to get hired. Um, that's what they represent. So if Rihanna put, why would Rihanna not put something like fuck Trump or some shit like that? If she does put something that's black, she's still black. Like that's so fucking stupid. And that's the downfall of being a fucking celebrity, bro. You lose that privilege. You're like, like you're no longer like, like that's why I said, even the motherfucking niggas that didn't sell out, didn't sell their soul and shit like that, my nigga, they can't be, they can't be black. You got, you got white fans now. That's the thing about being crossover. Like when I be hearing people say, I don't have this kind of fans. I got all types of fans. They, that's basically gold for white fans. That's all it is. Yeah, they got other type of fans, but, but most people who ain't black but not like white, like so Hispanic and stuff like that. They kind of understand and see and, and look at it from outside the box and see that black people have currently been treated badly by white people. So if white people, black people get up there and talk badly about white people out of all the murder, death, enslavement, 
um, you know, rape, you know, genocide, you know, destroying destroying homes, separating families, um, you know, building the prison system, you know, private prisons, making money off black, blacks through free labor, you know, admitting, multiple admitting, whether it be through Lazy Bone, showing his Mason letter, I mean, Busy Bone from, from, um, Bone does a harmony showing his Mason letter, or I, I know through, I, I, I could just look and tell, I could just look, at, like, I, not even at the media, but I just look at the prison system, at the rate, the incarceration rate, the, the number, the fact that slavery, prison is just slavery, and slavery is illegal in prison, and there's nothing but black people there, that's not by accident. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. But all those other races, but if white people figure like, oh, you don't get over that kind of shit, it doesn't really matter, that's not really real, you're Rihanna, you, you can't, you can't be black, don't be black and think about that kind of stuff, just be an artist like we want you to be and do what we want you to do and entertain us. It's, that shit dumb, bro. But that's the price you gotta pay, bro. You can't be black no more. You have to be what the fuck. They say, you gotta, you gotta be politically correct, you gotta be what they say to you. They, you can't say no real shit. You can't say blacks are real Hebrews. You see what happened, Nick Cannon? That's all Nick Cannon said was blacks are real Hebrews, which you are, bro. Blacks connect, maybe maybe the reason, like Cat Williams just said, bro. Cat Williams just said it. Maybe the reason black people ain't paid white people back is not because we're weak. We're just better people. Now, I'm gonna pay a motherfucker back, not for that, but I'm talking if a motherfucker tries to hurt me now in the present, I'm not gonna make excuses from the past and go kill somebody right now and, and, and take somebody's life and say it was for some, for, for um, past, um, for past transgressions against not even my ancestors, from their ancestors, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do no crazy shit like that. Well, I ain't gonna let a motherfucker hurt me now, but the reason we don't go back and do shit from then is because we're better people than that. You know what I'm saying? all that up, bro. But yeah, man, that's all they, that's all niggas say, bro. You see the control they put them in for just saying that. People say Black Lives Matter. That's all people say is Black Lives Matter. They're just saying a phrase. So the organization, obviously, you know, motherfuckers don't give a shit about black people, but the, just the phrase we say, saying the phrase, scares people. You wanna know why? Because they know for the longest black lives don't matter. I got into an argument earlier with somebody over that shit. I was like, it's not, it's not that. You wanna know why black lives matter and pisses people off? Because black lives, for in order for this to be called America, black lives can't matter. Because killing, killing black people, killing niggers is a part of America. For, for that to stop, this can't be America no more. Like, a lot of niggas don't get that. Yeah.